is directed by Makoto Shinkai and tells the story of a young girl named Suzume who gets roped into a situation with a boy named Sota and they go on a cross country adventure to try and close doors and chase after a cat. That is kind of like a quarter maybe of what the story is really about. Um, that's like the basic synopsis of what's going on and how the movie presents itself at first. Um, I thought his first two films, Your Name, Weathering With You, Makoto Shinkai was, did a really good job. I'll review them at some point on my channel, but I think his films are well animated, have great stories, really interesting characters, and have really good themes even though they could get a little bit repetitive by whenever he uh, tells the same kind of themes throughout his filmography. And it's no different here. It explores some similar themes, but there's a lot of new ideas here too about found family also and the loved ones who you're connected to are most important. And while these themes are themes that we've seen in a plethora of other films before, I think they were presented here in a very interesting way. Suzume as the main protagonist was really endearing. I really liked her character. She wants to help other people even though she really didn't need to. She could have looked the other way. But there were certain situations where she found like she needed to be there. Like there's a calling to her and she felt like she needed to answer. And how the film uh, tells her story and why she feels like she needs to be involved in these situations and help out the way she does. I found it helped endear me to her character even more as the film goes on. And I just found her to be uh, one of my favorite uh, characters from Makoto Shinkai that he's given us. One of the most interesting, one of the most likable. And I just found her to be a very fun character to be around. Sota, um, if I remember his name right, is also a really good character as he is the guy who is supposed to be closing these doors and is kind of an authoritative adult figure, sort of like a father kind, I guess, at first. But then slowly both Suzume and Sota form a sort of romantic relationship as they get to know each other more so. And you really do buy into it. And the way it plays out, and especially how the movie does a bit of a 180 with Sosa's character in in like the end of the first act of the film and how it goes on throughout the rest of the movie I thought was brilliant and surprisingly emotionally impactful in a way. What they did with Sosa's character was nothing what I expect and I really liked what they did with him and how the relationship between Suzume and Sota was explored. Also, the aunt character in which she basically takes in Suzume as like her sort of daughter. Uh, I thought what he did with her was really good. Though I would say that in like the middle of the movie, it felt like there was like a bit of time not spent with her. Like there wasn't enough time given to her. The, it was mostly explained by Suzume. But I think how it was able to pay off and how the aunt and Suzume were able to handle the relationship with each other near the end of the film. I thought it was really, really good. Um, but yeah, most of the characters here I found very interesting, very fun to watch. And how their story played out, I was very much emotionally invested. Let's get the obvious out of the way now. The animation is beautiful. Seriously, Makoto, the animation team, is absolutely fantastic and they deliver once again here. I thought Weathering With You was probably the best animated anime I've seen in a long time. Then comes Suzume and just blows me right out of the water. Just blows Weathering With You right out of the water and in your name. I thought the animation here was spectacular. It's not only extremely detailed in the animation and movements of the character they're fluid and everything but his animation style it 
fits really well with the type of films he makes. Sure, you could have great animation, but if the style doesn't fit the tone of your story, it will feel off. But it never felt like that to me with Makoto Shinkai's movies. His visual style and way of make, telling stories and how he visualizes them in animation form, I think fits extremely well and really gets me sucked into the visual experience of the film. Seriously, the animation team on this movie did a really fantastic job and I really love what they did here, especially in the final act. I think that's them the best animation I've seen from them. Uh, this is a bit of a mix of different genres. It's like a comedy, a road trip type film, a buddy comedy at points, and an action film also. It is, it is, was able to balance all these genres very well and it never felt tonally off. There was never a moment where I felt like the pacing dragged or the tone just felt out of place. It fits the moments well. They were never exaggerated and whatever jokes were told were paid off very well in very much fantastic ways. Um, the humor is always really good with Makoto's films. I think he d has a really good sense of humor that felt really grounded and not exaggerated like with a lot of other animes, how they exaggerate their humor. His movies were able to feel the most real, some of the most real life kind of dialogue and humor you could get out of an anime. And it still never felt out of place. If I had to, if I do have any negatives, is as I said, the aunt character, I felt like her character could have been developed a bit more. Maybe the pacing uh, kind of drags once the movie goes from like an action to a road trip. Like that transition, I felt like could have been a tiny bit smoother, but really nothing really annoyed or bothered me. I um, I love almost everything about this film. The animation is great. The story I thought was really well executed. The music is absolutely beautiful and the characters are always entertaining in Makoto's films. This is seriously a, just another great movie in Makoto Shinkai's library. And I'm going to give Suzume an A+. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.